In 1973, God said to us, I want you to go to Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union. We had been in England all that time, and we rented a car, a big truck, and Bud got it all packed, and we're ready to go. And he said, do you have the passports? And I said, they're in the desk drawer. And he said, surely, that is the first thing I put on the truck. Now, any normal person would unload the truck, but not Bud. <laughs> he said, well, let's go and we'll see how far we can get. Big smile, and <laughs> I'm thinking, okay. So we're driving, we get to the first border to leave England. Oh, this is highly irregular. Whoa, and Bud's just smiling at him with those twinkle eyes and his big smile. And he said, well, I'll let you out, but they'll send you back. That's, that's okay, thank you very much. So we entered the next country, Belgium. Oh, sure, you can come in. Big smile, through France, through Germany, through Austria, we went through five countries without a passport. I told this in my German class and the German teacher would not believe me. Could never happen in Germany, but it happened even in Germany where they go by the rules. So we arrived and we felt like this was God opening our Red Sea. And you just parted it and we just walked through. So we started the German ministry at the same time. And then we went to Romania with John and Joy and we got in the car and we were stopped. And we were stopped for hours and hours and hours and hours. And finally they came and took us in. And I realized, uh-oh, it was me that was the culprit. Because I had a piece of paper in there with a diagram and I hadn't thought about it. And it had a picture of the will and choosing God or choosing um, the devil. And so this man looked at me and he said, what is this? And I thought, if I'm going down, I'm going to go down full flag. <laughs> so I said, this is the will. And every person who is ever born into this world has a choice. They can believe that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world to die for our sins. And they can invite him into their heart and become a true believer or they can turn towards Satan and accept him and go to hell. And he said, oh, okay, you may go. And I learned a lesson that day. Every time I stood up and said exactly the truth, God stood up for me and I had no problem at all. And we were two people with two children who were a team. And we started that way and God led step by step by step, and we moved to Russia. And so we started with a language class, Russian in two weeks. It is a lie, <laughs> it does not happen. But we went and we didn't know anybody, but everybody there was a missionary that was in this class. We found that out real quickly. I was the only woman. So Tanya, the language teacher, knew that I prayed. So we sat down and I began to share with her and she said, is your husband a pastor? Now I had decided not to lie. So I looked at her and I said, yes, to college students. Now I could have fa 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 fangled around there and I could have said, no, because he's not really a pastor. But I knew what she meant and the answer was yes. So she said, I thought so. And she just started asking me all these questions. And so I went on and on and finally I said, I have this little booklet I'd like to share with you. No, and she went like this and then she said, oh, it's perestroika and she grabbed it. And she looked at it and um, I said, we're showing a movie tonight about the life of Christ. I wonder if you'd like to come. Oh, no, 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 I, no, no, I couldn't do that. And I said, well, do you know anybody that has a video that you could watch a video if I gave it? Yes, my father has a video machine. I said, oh, well, let me give this to you then. I thought, we'll find another one. We'll give it to her. So on Monday morning, she came back. She said, she took me into her back room, and she said, well, I watched the video. And she said, my father watched it. He writes speeches for Nielsen, and he wants to meet you. And so we went there to have lunch with him, and he leaned over, and he said, how would you like to come to the Soviet Union and give five lectures on Christianity? You know, we both sat there. Bud said, I nearly fell off my chair. And he said, well, do you have the authority to invite me to do that? And he said, yes. 
we thought, oh, this is so amazing. We've worked for 20 years and nobody knows what we're doing. And now, look what's happening. God is at work. And so we got there. And here was this huge room full with all the scientists of Russia. And he began to talk about who is Jesus Christ. It was so wonderful. Just Bible, just Bible, who is Christ? He said, I'd like to pray. Everybody rose to their feet and he prayed. First time in 70 years. And um, he prayed, he finished. There was absolute silence for a whole minute. And then they just began. Man, believers. It was something. And every day afterwards, we would go over to Andre's house, Piankowski's house, and he would show us a video of the uh, parliament that day. And he would tell us everything that was happening in the country. Well, one day I said, Oh, you know, God won't bless Russia till that statue of Lenin comes down. And Bud looked at me like, Oh, shit. He said, really? And I said, yes. So the next day he said, come and, come and look at the video, come and look at the video. So we came and I thought, why is he asking me to watch the video too? You know, normally he would ask Bud and I came along. So there was Lenin, covered with the new flag of Russia, covering up Lenin. He said, will that do? <laughs> and I said, oh no, it's wonderful but it won't do. They have to all come down, okay? And I learned another lesson. You, at the beginning of a ministry, you want to go as straight as you can. Just be courageous, just be courageous. I mean, what are we gonna say? We don't know how the door's gonna open. We don't know this, we don't know that. So courage, it's a great thing. God just used so many people, um, and we have a school that they named after Bud in, in Moscow, the Hinkson Christian Academy, and I love going there, and I just came from there, and uh, there were many children who stood to give their lives totally to serve the Lord this last month, and they are teaching the people how to walk with God, how to really know God and who He is. And how would I summarize my life? Maybe with my Psalm, Psalm 126, he that goeth forth and weepeth, praying, <laughs> bearing precious seed, the Bible, will doubtless come again with rejoicing. And be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you faint not.